My name is Chris Bates. I'm an artist living in Fort Collins, Colorado. I've been doing murals for the past decade plus. I've been drawing in this style with the black and white line drawings I call fine tunes that tell stories of people's lives or places using interior images to build up the story and create the actual subject. I'm doing a mural of Harper Goff, one of the most talented people ever to come out of the town I grew up in. This whole project was a partnership uh, with Brinkman, which is a big developer in town. They're doing this, redoing this whole block, of old town, re renaming the exchange. And initially, they hired me to do a bunch of small projects, transforming um, electric boxes, and gas meters, and water drains, things like this, into uh, art pieces. You know, having Brinkman and having a developer that wanted to incorporate art into a whole block of downtown something that I never kind of ran into before. They were really supportive and they were just into seeing what ideas that I had, making my vision happen and they just let me run with things. Anytime I start one of these drawings, I kind of start with like a little road map. So I have a kind of image like this that I work off of. And then it's just kind of like a guide to where I go. And then I've been using these Molotov markers and golden high flow liquid acrylic paints. And it's just kind of interpreting where areas go, what's gonna be a dark black, and then using line techniques to kind of create grayscale. So it's just a differentiating of thickness of lines, how close they are together, to kind of create different levels of gray. So that when you step back, you don't see the lines at all, you just see the image, but when you get up close, it's just this explosion of, of line work and stories. So every single little image in here tells his life story. And from there, I spent three to four weeks just kind of researching Harbor Goff's life. Once I created the image that was going to be the foundation of the mural, I just started incorporating all the things that I learned about him into illustrations to start to build the story of his life. When you're looking at it, you can interpret what Harper Goff did in his life. You can look at it as a whole, you can look at it as individual drawings, you can look at it as line work. So it's something that has tons of different levels and ways to appreciate the artwork. He's one of the most accomplished people that's probably ever come out of Fort Collins. He helped develop Main Street Disneyland, which a lot of the architecture is modeled after Fort Collins. And then he also worked on art direction for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And during the process of researching and creating this mural, I've just kind of come to realize how impactful something like this can be and is going to be for our community. So being able to use this mural as an education tool for the kids that are growing up in this town to show them, here's a person that was born here, raised here, and went on to do amazing things. And hopefully that can inspire some young people growing up to feel like that's within their capabilities as well. And also to kind of honor this person that had so much to give and offer the world and be able to memorialize him and tell his story in a way that, that he would appreciate. I think that having art out there accessible for people, no matter what your background is, where you're from, that's the stuff that inspires me and that like keeps me wanting to do public art.